All right, people, welcome back. More Daily Duels. We are running out of episodes. We really are. Uh, it's Friday. We're playing with the Chimids. Uh, I took the deck slightly a little bit. Uh, we're going to try more of a Ties of the Brethren variant because you can summon these and you can summon these. So this is actually a pretty good play. Oh, and speaking of Ties of the Brethren, let's go against Magic Spectres where they will literally kick the shit out of me. Like, they can't be targeted. They can't be destroyed card effects. Like, this deck is just so good. So this is episode... What, is, what episode number is this? 97? 96? 95, 96, 97. This is 997. So all you got left is this video, of course. Monday, Tuesday, and then Wednesday is that big grand live stream, and then that's it, people. That is it. So uh, I hope that you guys are looking forward to the rest of the remaining content. So uh, I drew a lot of my uh, of my Quirky Mirror monsters, who are good. I'm just kind of wondering if they're appropriate right now. I think that this guy would be. Because if he Pendulum summons, I pretty much just have to stop his plays. But Magic Spectres with, uh, with Metal Foes. Like, okay, I guess. I mean, I wouldn't say it's the greatest deck I've ever seen, but it's not terrible either. Another play I could do is just do this with this. Like, I can summon and then summon, draw, summon, draw. Like, drawing all these. Like, if, if I draw Tides of the Brethren... I really wouldn't work on the level fours because I run two of each clock mirror. I run two of the overload, two of the wall, and two of the one that stops effects. And I just drew, I opened up with two of the overload, so I can't copy my fours. Uh, it's not the greatest of draws, it really isn't. And that's debatable on whether I want to do the trauma plays or do I want to do the clock mirror plays. Because I feel like the clock mirror plays are slower, but a little bit stronger. Is this any mo er, uh, rock monster? That's any rock monster. So if it's any rock monster, I think I just want to summon Hunter. And then Hunter will give me the additional normal summon. So I'll gain, I'll go ahead and use my effect, draw, get rid of that Tizer Brother, and can't even really play it. Like, I guess I could play it on my Hunter, but Hunter would just summon what? It would summon, I have Grand Mole in here, and I have the Giant Sentry, and then, uh, what's her name? So it's not the greatest, but right now, it's just, nah, I don't, I don't need that. Alright, I only get that effect if I summon a uh, Quackamira, so. I mean, a uh, uh, trimet, so I don't get the additional draw pitch. So, so you just kind of put it out there. I guess you're going to go ahead and activate counter. Counter is such a dumb card. Like, counter is probably the dumb card of Metal Foes. It's like, hey, if one of your cards be destroyed, period, you get to go ahead and summon a Metal Foes from your deck, and you get to set up your Pendulum Scale again. It's like, all right, all right. You know? Like, combination is not terrible, because at least with combination, you get to... Uh, pop and search and that that's great and all but you can run that but counter counter is literally just like you get rewarded for your shit being destroyed you know something from your deck is like wow but then when any card you control would be destroyed by card effects, even by your own shit then you get to go ahead and summon and set up your pendulum scale but even if you crack your scales you can just banish the counter to get the pendulum monster back out from your uh extra deck and just put it back in your scales like like seriously like this this is the dumb card of metaphos it really is like, it really doesn't matter what I show you. Like, I'm gonna get the shit kicked out of me, because it's like, hey, I killed your Magic Spectre monster, now I get to face down two 2400 beaters. Awesome. You know, it's like, eh, yeah. Anyway, you look at the title, uh, Collab Session. So, and my new course, because I know I just talked about my special education course, I immediately got thrown into yet another course. Isn't that great? Isn't that awesome? Uh, yeah, they, they just love putting me in more courses and more courses and more courses like every month. But at least for the month of December, I get one month off. One month. One month where uh, uh, I don't have any classes. So that's nice. So in, uh, in combination with taking a break from the channel, uh, December, despite being the holiday month, I'm planning on getting a lot of things done. And hopefully we'll be uh, ready to hop into things by uh, January for the channel. But uh, this one is culture of diversity, you know. Uh, I mean, it should be fairly easy, uh, but one of the things, the things are mostly the same, you know, I still got, wait, are you actually going to Pendulum Summon? Because if you actually Pendulum Summon, I'm going to fuck you up with Overload. Like, that wouldn't be smart. Oh, you're not done. You got to continue to pop and search and pop and, like, Metaphos, they're great. They're really great. I, I definitely say that if, if ABCs weren't the top deck, Metaphos would be the top deck. You know, and it just seems it's just so hard to hit pendulums because I mean, you produce so many great cards and the pendulum mechanic we already know, so you're just gonna pendulum summon all the monsters, huh? Yeah, you know overload can fuck you up, but you know that, right? 
Like, did you just not read Overload? Because if you were read Overload, I thought you were just going to go straight into Battle Phase, run these two over, and then do all your plays during Main Phase 2. Never mind, you have Strike. Of course you have Strike. Why wouldn't you have Strike? Why wouldn't you have absolutely everything to beat me? Like, like seriously? Of course. Of course you have it. Of course you have it. You have it. You have everything. Everything. Like, like you have the two counters, the set up your Pendulum Scales, the Search, the Strike, the everything. Like... You opened up with the fucking unicorn. Like, all right, all right. It was GG. 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 Ugh, Yu-Gi-Oh sometimes. Like, can't wait for my break, because I can just stop. You have all the fucking answers, my dog. All the fucking answers. Like, I, I scoop. I scoop. I scoop. Doesn't matter. We'll get another duel. Bear right back. So one of the flaws with daily duels is that not all decks are created equally, therefore, I mean, I can't play whatever I want, you know? I can't play with that top tier shit. I play with whatever you guys want me to play here on daily duels, therefore, if it gets voted on that I'm playing the weak shit, I'm playing the weak shit, you know? So, rip on that. Uh, this opening hand's actually pretty good. It's actually pretty good. Because I can summon Overload, Times of the Brother, and summon two others, you know? So... And, and I do have the core, so I might as well just play the Cocky Mirror Cord and search for a Cocky Mirror Monster. That way I have something real, but I guess I can block with the Cord Destruction. But I gotta play it anyway. Like, the end result will still be the same. Now, the question is, do I want to summon, uh, well, anybody but Overload, because I'm about to summon the Overload. No. It doesn't even matter, because we already know that Ties of the Brother in it is just so fucking good. Like, this card is easily one of the top cards in the meta right now, yep, might as well scoop, because, I mean, Tabs of Brethren, I'm gonna summon, uh, the one that negates monster effects, and the one that, well, to negate spells, just in case you get Regeki, I can just be like, nah, you know, so, he scooped it up real quick, be right back. If there's really no point in just saying hi to people or talking to people on here, it's just, you know, we stay the car from the table silently, and whatever you're playing, whatever I'm playing, you know, it's, it's gonna go down, so, uh, this opening hand's not the greatest, the best play I really got is just, Summon Cruiser, Summon Dancer or Master. I guess I'll summon Master since he'll be a little bit stronger. And then just end my turn, really. Yeah, you get to draw a card, pitch a card. That's not terrible. Uh, if I knew I was going to get Hunter, yeah, I'll pitch Dancer. Which is a little bit stronger. Now the question is, do I want to set the Call of the Haunted? Because you can play to a teacher, talk about Call of the Haunted, talk about Phil's about. I can just tag out, but I'll still lose my Call of the Haunted. But Call of the Haunted is still great. I'll just set it for now. If he has a Tundra State, then fuck it. I got my Grand Mole, so maybe I can fucking put that. But Grand Mole's kind of slow, and he's only really greedy if I can build up advantage over my opponent. You know? If I can do that, then we can talk. It looks like we're going to be facing some kind of Light Sworn Rank 4. Oh, Light Sworn Infernoid. Well, I mean, look at his deck. At least he doesn't have uh, Lawn Mowing. So that's a, that's a benefit. At least it makes the duel a little bit more fair, less just absolutely sack the crap out of you with that broken ass card, because Konami, mm. I'll just go ahead and drop Deviati already. So Deviati is the Heavy Storm card, right? Now you're going to just tribute off Deviati too? Yep. Thought so. Oh, I guess that doesn't matter. I'm dead. That goes. At least I get a search, so that's nice. But dealing with Deviati is not the greatest right now. Definitely not the greatest. I'll grab my Sphinx. That's just since she could tribute off herself. Like, ah, oh, shit. Like, I could summon Grand Mole and try to go after the Deviati, but she could just tribute off herself, so. I mean, I guess that would do it with the Deviati. It would, but I lose my Grand Mole, so. And then another suck thing is that I have no filter spell since I wasn't able to switch out. And I lost my filter spell, so the main hunter is not a real point. Like, I think I'll just summon Grand Bowl and just try to make him use his... Either tribute him or leave, you know, I really don't care. Either you contribute yourself and negate my effect or something, but I don't care. Just get that Debbie Audi off my fucking field. That's fine. And you did kind of, you did kind of nag on the, the summon Deviati, but Deviati fucked my shit, fucked my steez real good, so. I would not be surprised if you just go banish three Infernoids in your hand, summon Deviati, like, oh, yeah, that's exactly what he fucking did. Like, oh, wow, I called that shit, like, oh, my God. Ugh. So there is not too much I can do right now. There is not too much I can do. Oh. Uh, 
I mean, what's your booty? Then your booty ain't shit. Your booty ain't shit. Oh, I can play this, and then I can summon Master. Master, why, why does it say that it has to be a set card? Why can't it just be just to destroy a card on the field? Like, they really just did not make this deck that great. Uh, Tommy Monster can destroy a card back to the Oh, I mean, I could do Hunter, and then I could additional normal summon Master. I mean, I have Sphinx, and then maybe I could bait the Deviati, maybe? Like, just because you're three and you're four. Like, if you weren't three and you're on four, I'd go to Utopia, Utopia the Lightning, or something like that. Like, it just had to be the two monsters that just don't do shit. Like, that don't have any synergy. Like, if there was three and three, awesome. If it was four and four, awesome. But three and four, I don't Ugh. So, just don't summon a mon Don't get a draw monster that you could just summon right now. And I'll be okay. Alright. So, let's so go ahead and tag that one out. You gonna negate me with Deviati? Yeah, I'm just gonna tribute herself. That's fine. You can have that. That's what I'm mad at. Everybody tributing herself? I'm fine with that. I'm gonna switch out anyway. Let's go ahead and get Cruiser. Then I can pop Cruiser and get the Surge, so Hunter's banished. And Fortress will go ahead and grab me back Dancer. Like, uh, I might be able to keep up resources. This is gonna be a tough duel, though. I'm just glad that everybody has gone. He's burned up a lot of Infernoid, so... Ooh, and I got fucking Overload? Like, let's go, because... I mean, all his shit is, is Inherent Summons, right? I think all this shit is inherent summon, so as soon as you would summon a monster and Fortnite tribute, and then you still pay the cost, so I'll just start beating your ass. Give me some life points. Oh shit, we might have shit to do it. Him using Deviati twice and banishing three and four nine monsters, I mean. Especially a lot from the hand. It was a lot from the hand. Like what, five? Five from the hand? So Might be downhill from here. And depending on what you summon, I might just go ahead and tribute anyway. I reveal dancer. You already know I have it. You already know my hand. That I have Dancer and Sinks. Because I search for Sinks and I grab back Dancer. But go ahead. Summon like a Raiden or something. What does this do? You just common card. Add one voice from your deck to your hand. Blah, blah, blah. You can summon button. Throw my monsters. Okay. Yep. Uh, but the color, this class is pretty much the same. Still discussion bar. Except instead of two discussions, only one per week. You still reply to two people, but uh, it's really simple. Really simple. Alright, so that's fine, I guess. Like, I don't control any monster summon from the extra deck, so it really doesn't do anything. Like, I don't, I don't get why you, you played Avoid Imagination. I mean, that is nothing. Does not upset fucking literally nothing. Uh, so literally all I have to do is just summon Dancer, return, and then just attack game. That's it. Yay, I win. <laughs> I was I was kind of worried. I was kind of worried, just slightly, a little bit about this duel, but we pulled through, people. We pulled through. So, and then put a cruiser back. Everybody's boosted up, and then attack for game. Yay. <laughs> all right, we'll get another duel. Bear back. Woo. Remo was MVP on that one. He sacrificed himself to save me. <laughs> Alright. Uh, this opening hand's not that great. Kinda wish I had Ties of the Brethren. Kinda wish I had Ties of the Brethren on this one. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and summon wall, set the warning. I mean, set the strike. That's it. <laughs> Real dark type monster? Sure. I'll show you Dancer. It's not the greatest monster. I kind of want to hold the Grand Mole, just in case you kind of take it slow. You're like, oh shit, I don't want to deal with the wall. I'll just set a monster, and I'll just be like, Grand Mole, bounce, and then I'll be ahead. I just keep on bouncing your shit. Or you could just summon stone, and do that play. Alright, well, that sucks. I'm thinking about just striking striking Sage. He still crashed with stone, but at least that's during the end phase. Yeah, I'm just going to strike Sage. Now, and I'm questioning what, what you want to do. Do you want to take stone and crash into me? Playing against blue eyes now. Like, ugh. And then we drew the worst Trimid card, so I don't really want to do that. I just want to summon Grand Mole, bounce back to the hand, poke you for uh, 19. Like, fuck it. 
Okay, we already know. I already know how awesome Grandma is. I mean, he could put in that work. Just the suck thing is returning that shit back to his hand for possible melody plays or something along those lines. I guess he could play melody and then pitch that for cost and I could negate it and he would neg, but then he would still get the summoner in the end phase. But then I do have Grandma to attack and bounce back to his hand. Like, I think Grandma's gonna definitely put in that work. I'm gonna set this call to haunted. So. Drill rock monster. Like I'll maybe be able to stun the blue eyes guy. Stun him out of playing. That'd be nice. That'd be nice. So I'm actually wondering what you're gonna do. Are you just gonna just summon the stone? No, you're gonna take the neg on the twin twister. You're gonna take that neg. You're gonna take that neg, my boy. You know, I could just tribute negate and then use my call of the haunted to summon right back. Like Oh, but then you'll still just probably summon your Keep banishing card. The end result will still be the same. It'll still be the same. I either lose my back or whatever. Like, the end result is still the same. And I'll just call the haunted him right back. Like, ah, oh, fuck it. You could you could take that neg. You, you could take that swift neg, because obviously you want to play some spells. Now you're just going to go to the end phase and then summon Kai with your stun. I just don't like that my thing is equipped to this now. Yeah, fuck it, I'll, I'll negate, because I'm, I'm going to lose everything anyway. Like, I'm going to lose it during the end phase. Like, if I were you, I would have took it slow, just ended stone, summon, Kaiser, banished, be done with it. But instead, you kind of took the neg with the melody, and I'm, uh, I'm not a big fan of that. Now I really need a different clock in here. Oh, Andy's playing Chaos Max? Like, alright. Andy's playing Chaos Max. So, of course, I don't want to grand mole the fucking Manju back to his hand. That'd be a terrible idea. Now I'm behind. Now I'm behind. Like... That's what's wrong with the deck. It's kind of slow with its summon. Like, unless I get Tides of the Brethren, it's kind of slow. Because now he has a Manju who is stronger than anything that I have, and then he'll have his whatever, his Blue Eyes or his Kyle be stronger than whatever I have. And he's playing the Chaos Max there, and so. Just a little slow. He took Negs on his plays, but yet I'm still just a little behind. That's definitely not what I needed. Uh, how strong are you? You're only six, but then I could swap, swap, return, right? Because I could play cruiser, then I could play, f get rid of cruiser for fortress, and then cruiser could search me for my, uh, my sphinx, but then she would only be still nothing, even with the return, she would only be 11, so she's still weak. It's the best choice to have her have some decent attack would go Fortress, then su switch it with Golem, and then return, and then she would be an additional thousand, which would put her at 16. Ooh, so strong. Strong enough to attack other Manju, but not really strong enough to do anything else, so. So, I'll go ahead and activate Cruiser, swatch out Cruiser for Fortress, and then I swatch out Fortress for King Golem with dancer effect next turn then he'll probably run her ass over next turn and then I get some of my sphinx I'll drop sphinx down to one I, I really only need one I have multiple ways of accessing it I wish I could just set this monster but I need her to pop this ne during next turn so I mean I'm mean, look how slow I am I'm just I'm just a little bit too slow if you summon chaos max I'm dead I, I, I'm, I'm dead <laughs> Like, that's the sad thing. Oh, yep, yep, yep. I would say, if he summons Chaos Max, I'm dead. <laughs> I might be. I might be. Sphinx might have a strong enough booty. But damn. Like, damn. That is not what I wanted to see at all. So. Uh, I think I might be strong enough with King Golem. Because I have two in the graveyard. Which means that I go up by a thousand, thirty-five, then King Golem give me an additional five, which means that I'd be at four thousand. I'd be at four thousand. Just not enough. I mean, Chaos Max. If he didn't summon Chaos Max, I might have been okay. But now it doesn't matter because I mean, at least he attacks the Chaos Max now, so at least he can't just crash with me. Four thousand. And I could Grand Mold the Chaos Max right back to his hand. So actually, I'm okay. I'm okay. Cause these two can't attack. Maybe if he would have attacked with the blue eyes first, but he went straight with the Chaos Max, I could summon Grandma, Grandma will bounce back to the Chaos Max, and I'll be stronger than these two, so. No 
Oh shit, I might actually be able to come back into this duel. Uh, so I was talking about the class. Everything's pretty much the same. Uh, there's still two assignments. It's like an essay and then a uh, lesson plan, blah. I've done plenty. It's the same exact lesson plan I've done for the majority of the classes. Uh, the only thing that was different is that there was a collab session where I had to download this program and then the teacher was talking and we were all you know, listening to him. Uh, collab session, I guess. Okay, like, what does that do though? Like, I guess you're gonna... Never mind, never mind. I know what you're gonna do. You're gonna go into uh, Dark Matter. Oh, uh, then you could pop me with uh, Sphinx too. I mean, you could pop me with that too. All right, never mind. I thought it was okay, but never mind. Maybe if he would actually like did the blue eyes chaos form with the blue eyes on the field, but no, he could have banished Lonely Baby. All right, that's game. That's game. That's game. I, I can't come back from that. Because <laughs> especially since you're about to go into Dark Matter and send all them dragons. All right, we'll get another door. Bear. Ah, this deck is slow. <laughs> it really is. Hey, I got the Tides of the Brethren, though. Like, that might be a little bit fast enough for me to get into this duel. Just he went first, so I can't really conduct my battle phase. Wow, and then he's such a shit ton of back row. That should be fun to deal with. Hmm. Kind of debating on what I want to do. I'm not sure if I want to do the Tides of the Brethren play. I could. I could just summon Wall and then just do Ties of the Brethren. I think I'll do that. I think I'll do that. I think the, I think the summon of all three monsters, the other two monsters, will be enough to at least slow down my opponent. But he has three pieces of back row. Like, that's not good. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. I'm not going to get the summon. Never mind. Uh, go ahead. <laughs> He's like, nah, warning. Like, okay. I, I didn't want that on the field anyway. Was this the spell one? Trap's done. Alright, thanks for trap stunning. Now I'm not attached to the Call of the Haunted, so that's nice. Well, I only need to stop spells, so you can easily fuck me up. Uh oh, this is not good. I'm a little bit too slow for this shit. I'm too slow. I'm too slow. I just, I just realized that. Yep, yep. And this is the wrong one. Like, if there was, if it was the other two ones, I'd be fine. I have one that stopped monster effects. I have one that stopped summons. I have the one that stopped spells. Like, I, I seriously doubt he plans on activating any spells right now. Like, he's literally just gonna get up in my butthole and destroy me, so... That is not, that is no good. <laughs> mm-hmm. How would you tribute him? Like, I thought you would attribute him, because he's just going to die during the end phase anyway, but... Oh, that you can move him out of the way for Charger and then summon this back. Okay. Oh, I'm going to be taking a shit ton of damage. I'm not even sure if I would attribute it to engage. I guess why not, but that's a shit ton of damage. So you're going to die during the end phase, and I still got to deal with you two. Uh, I don't think I can really do that too well. <laughs> I'm not dead. But I just took a shit ton of damage. I can't play my Ties of the Brethren anymore. Ties of the Brethren anymore. Like, the, that just those one turn of stuns. Like, that warning stunned me just enough to make it so I behind on my turn. I took a shit ton of This isn't good. This isn't good at all. Uh, go ahead and get uh, Cruiser. Yeah, get Cruiser. And then heal some of my life points and then summon these two. Summon Hunter and Hunter. We'll get that additional summon. I may might be okay, especially since I get those additional plays. Might be okay. Oh, so can I only gain that effect once per turn? Only once that turn? Like, yep. So actually, I may be able to attack over because if I switch out with King Golem, I may be able to attack over at least one of them. Gain some life points. I'll pitch. I'm definitely going to pitch that Tides of Brethren. Well, actually, now I have enough life points to actually play it. Now I do. Yeah, I actually have enough life points to play it now. And I could play the Tides of Brethren right now, but then my life points would be lacking. Because I didn't. Target one level four. Oh my god. Summon him, summon him. But then I can't conduct my battle phase. But I don't think there's anything I really want to conduct my battle phase on. 
I can summon that, summon that, but I cannot special summon monsters for the rest of the turn. Summon another one of you, you, or you. That's debatable. That's debatable. And then I'll have multiple of you just twitch out for multiple different field spells, so. And really, all I need to do is summon. But I don't want to summon three more monsters right now. Like, no, I don't want to summon three more monsters right now. Uh, I'll hold off. I can hold this because I actually now have enough life points to play it. Um, so, then this can activate return. Boost me. And then this can switch out. And then I'll at least be stronger than the fuel cell with my uh, hunter. <sighs> Go ahead and search me Sphinx. Attack over the field cell. Because I can. And you could switch out, and you could switch out. So what does this do? You can switch someone and charm monster from your hand. That's exactly the one that I want. I can switch out some of the trap things from my hand. Can't you can only attack the Sphinx. Yeah. So actually I, I think I might be able to come back into this duel and win this. Oh, thank god he wasn't able to OTK me. Nine volt. Mental. I knew I knew you were gonna have a second one. I knew it. I knew it. I called that shit. I called that shit. Like you might have not seen it, but I was thinking in my head, I was like, he has another nine gold. <laughs> like, yay. There's multiple of the monster at uh that's the searcher. Like awesome. Still might be okay. So the collab session was kinda meh. The teacher was really bland, he's a Native American guy, and he was just kind of old Native American guy, old man. Oh, I'm gonna die anyway, so I might as well go ahead and switch out. So, like that. Then, uh, King Golem will go off. Well, no, because I'm gonna summon you through King Golem, so it's fine. Uh, summon the Sphinx. So, we'll have a nice 35, that's fine. And now what? Now you can't even go after Dancer. Nope, can't attack Dancer. Wow, you're just gonna attack into my big old booty. Okay, I'm kinda thinking of whether you have an idea or something. Never mind, he's just gonna scoop. I would say, like, do you have a plan? But no. Yay! Ugh. That's fine. We won. <laughs> it's kinda slow. It really is. It's just. Slow, it's not, you won't be seeing this that goes summon, 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 special summon, XC, summon the art, do all them plays, you know. You will never see this deck. It's not DVDs. <laughs> just generally one or two summons per turn. Maybe it's Tizer Brother, and that's a nice upgrade, but anyway, we're done here. Um, we're done doling anyway. Cole has he's trying to get people to talk using the mic. I didn't talk at all. I just kind of typed, I just kind of took it slow. Uh, so. Collab session was fine. I because I was there and I participated. I don't have to write a two hundred word no three hundred word essay two hundred word essay one of the two about what went on in the session. Like I said, I'd rather show up to the session and be bored. And really, the funny thing is, at the session since I wasn't talking or doing anything, I was doing like stuff in the background. I was like watching YouTube videos. I, I I was completely ignoring him. I would answer the occasional question just to be like, hey, I'm you know I'm still here, but you know just so I can get credit. But I really was not giving him the, the attention that he deserved. So he like said, this week I still got my summons. I had to write a 300 word essay about a field trip taking my students, my imaginary class, to a uh, location of culture. I said, hey, can I do a library? And he was like, no, don't do that. It has to be culture. But I forgot to bring up that the, the library that I'm messaging is all about African American culture. Like, it really is. So uh, despite him saying no, I'm going to rewrite it and then bring it up that I made a mistake and that I didn't bring it up. And then he'll be like, oh, yeah, definitely culture. Because he was like, he was like, oh, yeah, do something about, uh, you know, African American culture. Do something about that. Because he knows that I'm black. And I'm like, oh, I'm like, I forgot to mention that the library that I mentioned, it's just, there. it's not just the library. It's the the black Amer African American library theater art center of African American culture. So, so I'll write about that and then do a lesson plan about a lesson I can teach my students a bit in that pl at that place. But it's kind of off because I'm a math teacher. So I guess I just gotta literally come up with the lesson. Oh, my mind. It has nothing to do with math. 
the next week I think I gotta do an observation in the lesson plan. Ooh, alright, it's not like I've never done one of those before. And literally just do an observation of my calculus teacher and do a lesson plan off of that. So, easy, easy. And I'll be halfway done with the course. And we have another collab session, uh, uh, the third week, the third week. And I'll talk about weeks two and three and the class will be done really that quick but by then i won't be able to talk about that because i'll be on my break by then anyway this episode of daily duels is over so thanks for watching thanks for the support uh so we don't have too much more to go we have monday tagging on tuesday and then wednesday is the grand live stream four hours long it'll be from 8 a.m pacific time to 12 p.m pacific time so if you guys can make it that'd be awesome uh, i'm gonna have some tag partners join me and we're pretty much just gonna wrap up daily duels <laughs> you know uh, it'll be episode 1000, and that'll be it. The duels will be over uh, on Monday. That'll be Halloween, so I guess Halloween episode. So thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And uh, yeah, see you guys next time with some more daily duels. Thanks for watching.